welcome to another ride along with goggles and today we're in Tucumcari no sorry we're in El Paso and we're heading for Tucumcari and the cool thing about this trip is we get to head up this highway 54 again now I haven't been up this way in a long time but we came down it and I'm not even sure if I did a do it in a video or not I know I did it on a personal trip which was awesome it was really neat and uh really looking forward to this so we're going to head from el paso on up that way to walbert or tucumcari and we're got a load of i think it's veggies that's we'll start at oh fresh fruit or, no oh sorry tableware that's what it is i was looking at fruit anyway we got the night moose skin here and this is the new one that just went out on steam and it's much improved over the old one uh, and then I put, uh, you can put night moves on the chrome steps now too. And I got it configured a little bit different than the real truck and I made it available for the high roof and he d he would have painted uh, side skirts, chrome steps, painted tank. So the chrome side skirts are not something he would have had, nor the uh, stand up sleeper. But hey, we're... Uh, it's all fun, right? Um, and I got to do some adjustments on the trailer, but I can't find the old PDN, so I'm starting from scratch. I didn't have time to finish it. So this is a trailer that needs a little bit of work. So when I pulled in here, let's see what happens to the frames when I turn on the lights out here. It was really weird. Oh, they're okay. When I came in here, it was so bad, it was, let's see what happens when we go out, oops, brakes, it was down to 30 frames per second. So I went to the trouble of rebooting the PC, I thought it was PC hanging up, and I was, I turned around and I was, oh, just about, right about here, I'm going to back in there. And so I went out, came back in the game after a reboot. And it was still 30 frames per second. But now it's 60, which is what it should be. Really weird. You set the seat here. Oh, there's some stuttering there. So I noticed the engine was a little quiet in the last few videos, so it got turned up a bit. And, uh... After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. So uh, I went and got that uh, Creech Bomb sound pack from the SCS forum and uh, I ho hopped up a um, 3406E and the 44444 and uh, put it in here and it's the same 444 that uh, you get with Ruta. Oops, a little long there. You have to remember that the brakes are a little insensitive this time instead of too sensitive. Rolled right over the line. So, um, on the engines, uh, so I took the mod. I put, uh, there's a total of 106 trucks in it now. And I got the 3406 and the 444 with some different versions of the engines. I put um, uh, the 3460, I put a 650, an 805, and a 1005. And I'm just, it didn't overwrite any of the the Ruta mod 444 that I've been using. So this is the same engine that I've been a lot using the last few days, which is Creech Bomb, so. Straight. 
Oh yeah, so <laughs> if you look in the uh, dashboard, in the, uh, the 15 gauges on the right of the steering wheel, if you look at the one dead center, so the one in the middle, um, let's just have a look and see what it is. Fuel pressure. Okay, so the one to the left of it is a pyrometer. I can't believe it. I don't know if that was there all along and I never saw it in the last version of the truck. I'm sure I would have noticed it. But anyway, maybe it's new to this update. Or I just never noticed it before. But anyway, that's pretty cool. The one that's just off the edge of the steering wheel in the middle row. The one in the middle of the top row, it would be nice if it was beside it, is the manifold pressure. So the, the middle top, if it was like the W900 from Ruta, the two would be side by side. And I like on uh, the W900 because they have idiot lights in them. I'll catch your attention if you haven't been watching when uh, you should be. Well, you don't really need to keep your eye on the perometer unless you're really hauling hard. Got a big climb going or uh, getting a heavy load up to speed. Kind of want to watch it. And make sure you're not overheating it. You'll see that parameter on this climb as we accelerate out onto the highway. But it's not going to go past halfway. Past 12 o'clock, I don't think it shouldn't. Well, we've got 38,000 on pounds. I've not taken this road out of here yet. This will be a first. Keep right. When I came down 54, previously I was heading uh, west. I didn't. I didn't come down south to uh, El Paso. Reminds me, I was digging around in my tunes. I got a, a music library that I put on the, uh, oh, there's a big stutter, wow. Um, that I put in my music folder. And I couldn't find the darn, it's like all of my, all of my tunes. I, one great big folder. And I guess a while ago, I just dumped it into my music folder, or for the, for the game. Man, there's a ton of tunes in there. And one of the albums, I had an album that I'd recorded. I don't know where I got it from. Uh, I think it was an old CD that I think my outlaws had. It was uh, Marty Robbins. And uh, I was just thinking about it because of uh, El Paso. From this, there's another big uh, session of rubber banding right there. That mod from the Steam Workshop, the uh, yes. vegetation one, has ever turned the stuff a weird color? Unless this is the color it's supposed to be.
Yeah, I really wanted to get on the uh, Big Sky uh, tracking trailer today, but I just ran out of time. So I'll try and get that done tomorrow. And I'll do uh, the update for this uh, Night, uh, Night Moose trailer skin, maybe on the weekend. on top. She does go on. Yeah, it's 40 frames per second right now. I don't know what's going on all of a sudden. I wonder if it's the truck. Didn't have these problems with the 379. Oh yeah, the other, the other day we were in the 379, today we're in the 389. And uh, I went with the, uh, wow, look at how stuttery that is. back to 60 frames. Oh, there's some heavy stuttering. I wonder what's going on. Let's try turning the lights off. had that problem before with Ruta. See, there's the big sky trucking over there. Got to make that skin for uh, the ATS trailers. I'll probably do a little bit more elaborate than that one, but we'll see. Well, we'll go through this intersection, uh, and then we'll be out on the highway. We'll uh, see what happens if it stutters at all going through here with the lights off. If it doesn't, we'll throw them back on and until the next time it does something weird. But yeah, that's I haven't seen it like that for quite a while. Oh. 
can't remember if I have the watermelon lights or the little uh, two and a half inch LEDs on this one. Yeah, it was pretty good around there. There's that red. I saw the same thing over in uh, Arizona, in Utah, with that mod. Well, you guys, Scott, and Slim, and uh, whoever else is from New Mexico, is this right? That red? Okay, so this is a really neat drive. Kind of regret having that big honking thing up on the uh, roof, but we can still look around. Like the greens are a little more vibrant with this mod. I'll have to uh, remember to put a link in the description. Bit of a stutter there. to make all that red on the ground if that's an error or something wrong with the mud. train going along quite a while beside me the uh, last trip it was getting towards twilight when I came south it's pretty cool oh it should be a biplane flying around here somewhere 
those are birds. Shoot, I thought, I thought he was around here somewhere. Oh, there he is up there, maybe. Yeah, here he comes. Got himself a real high-speed unit there. That's a cool little town, eh? Oh, look at that stuttering. Wow. Turn the lights off. Got the headlights off. Well, that's quite a grade right there for the train track. Try with the lights off and see if we don't have any more of those stutters for the rest of the trip. Oh, here comes Speedy again. Yes, we're running uphill and running at lower RPM there for a little bit. That really heats a, uh, you know, the uh, turbo up. If you're running it a little bit slow and lugging it hard. So that's the solution. Like when you get into that situation is get the RPMs up a bit, move more air through there quicker and get the temperature down. Uh oh, what's going on here? Is that a collision or? Oh, come on. I think that guy's just waiting for that guy to turn. No stutters in this town with the lights off. Oh, here comes the way scale. Oh, shoot. Where is the way station? Oops. It's right here. Oh, we got a truck coming up our inside. Get to it there, Lori. I was just, uh oh, oh. They stalled it. I was looking at my, uh, my fuel situation. Got 79 gallons. Range should be good. Uh oh. 76,124. Getting that darn retarder activated thing again. That's distracting.
Uh oh, stopping traffic. This guy's gonna stop too. All right. quite a few new subscribers in the last few days and uh, that's pretty exciting and happy to have any of you aboard who if uh, you're fairly new to this channel So, 75 miles to go. That's yeah, kind of cool out here. Well, I kind of nuts with the trees, though, but I don't know if it's really like that or not. I noticed with SCS, like I was complaining about when... Uh, Wyoming right. or Montana came out that they had trees where trees wouldn't naturally grow just for the sake of having more trees I think Turn right. uh oh got ourselves a neutral there Pecos River. Wow. Pecos Creek. I guess it turns into a river when it rains. Fifty five miles to go. That must be What's that? Santa Rosa, that's where we are. really bugs me that bright red on the ground I like everything else about the mod but I have to try it up in Montana or Pro Mods Canada see what it does up there in the Northwest maybe
I may get this run in, in uh, done in time and video edited to have a second run tonight. That'll be fun. These, uh, this mirror mod that I just recently installed, also from Steam, I kind of like it for parking, as you really, uh, it's really good for parking. The, uh, but I still haven't tried it with the Turnpike Double, because I noticed with the old mirror setup, or without the mod in, you could, uh, even though. Uh, everything looked a lot further away. You could see more stuff because it was all smaller. But now the trailer kind of fills up the mirrors really quick when you get a bit of angle on it. And uh, you don't... It may be a little trickier with the turnpike double. if I ignore her first request to turn. Go straight. Look at this map a little harder. I think I'm going to ignore this right turn and take the next one. Keep right. After Looks like I've been on that other road right up ahead. Yeah, I guess uh, here we'll have a quick peek at the map while we're at the light. It's another one of those situations. I've been down that road before, it looks like, so why not just go up there one turn instead of one, two, three turns? Yeah, it's... I don't know. I don't think I have the uh, navigation set to shortest route. I think I have it set to best route. The uh, fisheye, or, you know, fisheye or convex mirror, spot mirror, whatever you want to call it, it's really actually very effective now with this mod. I'm liking it. If I could drive down that side of the building, according to this, I should be able to. Hmm. Let's try it. I've never tried it before. Make 
make a lot of sense if we can go all the way through. Because otherwise you have to do a... I got a long chassis truck. And you got to do a multi-point turn to get do a U-turn in the end of the yard. This looks like it will work. Well, that looks like Bart's trailer. I bet it is. Must have it in this profile too. Spots are kind of hard to see on the concrete. But we'll try it with these uh, this new mirror dealy and see what we can see. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, we get that stupid thing, that warning come up. Well. idea how we're doing here. It's all going to go out of the mirror. It's coming back into the... Hopefully we can get it in the big mirror soon. But I hate that, that window that pops up. Gets right in your mirrors. Well, we didn't get that one too good, but I think we can fix it. Oh yeah, we're way off. Wow. Well, we're going to have to go back. And uh, we'll run it straight back and come out again. Yeah, it would have been uh, an easier backup on the near side. steering wheel the wrong way. Oh. This may take a little while at this rate. Well, this should be pretty easy to fix them right here now. See how that looks. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I don't like backing in from that side. I think it was actually easier with the old mirror configuration because you could see more of the. Uh, a smaller mirror and then when you uh, zoom in with the uh, zoomy button you would uh, see a lot more right, we'll take that that's all better <laughs> okay <laughs> okay marginally better and they're all having a good laugh at Dan, did they? All right, fair enough. It's got to happen sooner or later. 3.52. Wow, it's an omen. The lunchtime today is watching a little video on YouTube about uh, vintage 3.52s. It was just a slideshow. And uh, that was pretty cool. There's some interesting paint jobs. Some that I haven't really seen before that appeared over and over. Not necessarily ones I'd want to do or anything, but I saw a couple pretty cool ones. And, uh, yep, so this this works on the 48 and on the um, 
389 works on the 48 and the 72 uh, flat top and ultra cab like this one and on the uh, 379 it's the 48 and 63 flat top and ultra cab or high roof sorry pretty cool I'm, I don't know I like it I did decide not to go with the extra shadowing just on the stripes and this is the old version of the trailer and I'm going to redo it with this version of the shadow on the stripes get rid of the old one and um yeah this one's a little cleaner so we'll see how that looks anyway as always guys appreciate you following along and uh yeah we'll catch you on saturday i guess so uh on the weekend take care have a good friday and we'll catch you uh, later bye for now